drug prevention. You know, in this country, that's a tough, tough, tough road for parents to do. Because we have a government that's, uh, now, now I'm not trying to be political, but this is the facts. We have a government that supports alcohol, sells alcohol. The media, every month there's some new thing about a uh, beer a day or a glass of wine a day. It's good for you somehow. And not even taking it into account, it's not the freaking alcohol, it's the fruit juice or the wheat grass juice or the whatever it is you use. And, and people just get so hung up on this crap that they think they really have this idea that alcohol is different. They seem to think this, that they're okay because they just drink. And they do it right in front of their kids. They have cases of beer in the fridge. Might have wine for dinner, you know, hanging out on the uh, the uh, 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 space table, whatever you want to call it, a hall table, uh, veranda, your, your uh, the china cabinet, whatever, you know, you got maybe you got a little wine rack, got some wine in there, got maybe you got some bourbon around or something. And then you tell your kids it's bad to try marijuana. It's, you know, it's bad to do drugs and blah, blah, blah. Well, like the man says, first, you got to keep it simple. It's unfair of you as a parent to try to preach the bad thing of drug, well to, well, to try to preach the negativity of, of drug addiction and drug abuse when you yourself use alcohol in any way, shape, or form. No more excuses, no more bullshit. You come up, you tell the truth. You tell the kid, hey, when I was a kid, when everybody, I mean, you know, alcohol has been legal a long time. I'm sorry I do it. I don't want it. I, I don't even like it. I'm going to try to quit doing it too because I can see it may be having an effect on you. You may think it's all right to do, to get high because that's what I do. Well, I'm here to tell you that uh, I don't think it's right anymore for my, even for myself. Just because alcohol is legal doesn't make it right. Doesn't make it good nice or, or acceptable so that's a good simple way to keep it but you have to be honest with your kids like you were saying you know keep it simple i i uh, i had uh, created a group for recovery called rational recovery that we did away with the higher power gig and the 12 step program because all they do is say prayers and spout little sayings every day and they don't really teach you anything uh, except to tell you and try to convince you that you're going to be diseased all your life you know, while they drink coffee and smoke cigarettes. Yeah, well, and Rational Recovery was about that. Taking responsibility for your actions. You know, once you get over the physiological withdrawal, it, it's after that it's up to you. It's up to you to make the right decisions. It's that simple. Hard to do, but simple in structure. I'm simple in, you know, in, in its uh, ability, simple in its desire, simple in its mechanics. You just got to do it. So that's why I, I just wanted to answer that to you. I just wanted to give you that uh, little throw that in there. Maybe somebody else will uh, chime in with what you've said. Hopefully I've been able to help too. I used heroin for a long time. Yeah. And I did quit. Uh, I used methadone to uh, go through the withdrawals. So I mean, it's really unnecessary to force a person to feel that, you know, to punish them that way. It's like punishment. You don't need to do that. They already know how it's going to feel. Trust me. You remind them of it. You get them clean, then you tell them out. It's up to you. It's all up here. You got to make the right decision. What do you want to do when you get up in the morning? You want to eat breakfast or do a bag of dough? I like being hungry. It feels good. So, anyway, well, 
that's my answer. We'll see. I'm Gerald Reynolds. This is Portland. Thanks a lot for listening. Y'all take it easy. Stay clean as you can. Give it a good shot anyway. No, I'm not talking about medical marijuana or, or prescription medications from your doctor. They can be abused, but you know, when you learn to make the right decisions, that doesn't happen. Good night.